Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great night. I'm going to order some food. <clears throat> I've been working hard on social media. This is my room at the uh, Sheraton Gateway Los Angeles Hotel at um, 6101 um, West Century Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, near the airport. You can see they've got a beautiful hotel, but Sheraton's going down. Um, they called the police on me today for no reason, and I filed a re police report for harassment. That's right, the Sheridan Hotel is going down, everybody. It is a nice room, though, huh? What do you think? Eric Spencer, your basketball evangelist, doing some filming here. Look at my Golden State Warriors bag. Let me make it nice. Zip it up for all of you. Uh, let's see, there we go. TV. Let's see if there's a TV in here. Uh, a little bit blurry. Oh, it's okay, you can see the reflection. Um, <clears throat> some cars are going by. There are some chairs actually. I won't reveal what room this is. Because the hotel doesn't even know where I am. <laughs> they call the police on me, and the police have no idea where I am. It's like my own witness protection. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sheraton's going down, and I'll be happy to let Paris Hilton know about what happened today. Here's what happened, actually. Let's go to the shower. I haven't had the good pleasure of taking a shower yet, but I will. Look how beautiful that is. The shower. So I'm not doing this promotional video for the Hilton Hotel. Oh, there you can see me. Um, I'm just letting you know to boycott the Hilton Hotels. I mean, not the Hilton, the Sheraton Hotels, sorry. But actually, this would be a, a promotion for the Hilton Hotel. I know Paris Hilton, I'll tell her about this. She'll get a kick out of this. Sheraton Hotels are going down. Manager is psychotic. I'm finding that more and more managers are psychotic in different companies. Honda's got one. Best, uh, let's see, Motel 6 has one. If you come across a psychotic manager, then uh, get them out of there. What I did today too is there were 20 people waiting in line um, at the hill at the uh, sorry the Sheraton. 20 people, and they do nothing. I told the boss he does nothing. I said you've got to open up some more lines for these people. He does absolutely nothing. Anyway, let me order some food. Just wanted to give you an idea of this hotel room that you'll not be staying in at the Sheraton uh, Hotel by the airport, by LAX. Do not stay in this hotel. It does look beautiful, doesn't it? For sure, but stay away from it. Do not go near a Sheraton Hotel. Choose a Hilton, a Marriott, a Hyatt Regency. They're far better. Hilton has people who are verbally abusive, like the manager, and also mentally psychotic. They should be in Napa. Um, the one guy kicked me out of the bar when I was sharing my YouTube site. Said it was bothering the people. What a jerk. So, ladies and gentlemen, they are psychotic, psychotic people all over the place. They work at Honda. Uh, of course, Joe Osteen is psychotic in his own right. He's a devil. Donald Trump and Joe Biden, they're psychotic. They're evil, demonic forces. Um... Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the most narcissistic people that ever lived. And what else can I say? This bed is going to be comfortable tonight, as you can see it. Uh, what else should I say? Um, Zelensky and Putin are both evil. Uh, Zelensky's worse. What the U.S. should do is go into Ukraine, get Zelensky out of there, and also Putin. Then what you got to do is go into China and kill... Um, the Chinese um, dictator there, go into North Korea, kill him too, build the army to the strongest it's ever been. Of course, going to take out Daniel Ortega. He's got to be taken out. We got to, and we got to turn the U.S. back from a fascist country into a democracy. Right now, the U.S. is fascist, and there are communist countries out there. Uh, North Korea, take out the president there. China, take out the president there, get rid of Putin, 
and Zelensky. Biden, of course, gave $112 billion for, to Zelensky for hush money. He was bribed. He got that money, too. So Joe Biden, President Trump, or not President, JB and DT, Jesus is coming after you guys. You're both evil. And uh, the mafia, the, the banksters, gangsters, cartel and mafia, I'm coming after you, too. <laughs> you know I'm at the Hilton, but who cares? Jesus hates you guys. He hates evil. He hates demonic forces. He hates the current government we have in the U.S. He hates Congress for taking hush money. Nancy Pelosi, you're the worst. You took millions of dollars of hush money. And also Dianne Feinstein. All the Congress should be fired, taken out of office. Anyway, um, if I become president and elected, I will do all that. And I will get prayers back into uh, elementary school, public school systems, and everywhere. Prayer will be back. And uh, pornography will be taken down everywhere. Strip clubs will be closed across the country. I'm working on the Spearmint Rhino one in L.A. The mafia is after me there, but I'll get them. There are 19 strip clubs that they own. They're all going to close down. So all Hooters restaurants are going to close down. we got a lot going on. Honda Corporation's going down. What else is happening? Motel 6, you got you got psychotic people working there. You got psychotic people working at Honda, especially the one in Santa Monica. That's the worst. The Santa Monica Honda. They've got the people who should be in Napa working there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. This is Eric Smelser, your basketball evangelist, getting ready to order some food. What? Well, I'll eat it. Maybe on this table. And of course, I'm doing a live broadcast from a place that you don't want to ever go to. The Sheraton Gateway Los Angeles Hotel, 6100 West Century Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. Sheraton's got the worst hotel or hotels in the country or in the world. Stay away and boycott the Sheraton Hotels starting tomorrow. We're going to make sure that these Sheraton Hotels get go down. We'll get a petition signed. And we'll make sure that all Sheraton hotels no longer exist. Paris Hilton will be happy. She's the daughter of uh, the owner of the Hilton Hotel. The Hyatt Regency will be happy. The Marriott's will be happy. Sheraton will no longer be in business, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus will shut them down. Have a great night, everybody. God bless you all. It's time for your basketball evangelist to order some dinner. And once again, I'm coming to you live from a hotel room at the Sheraton Hotel right next to the airport in Los Angeles, California. And I want to mention, too, that um, the city of Los Angeles is all crooked. They're run by the mafia, the banksters, gangsters, and cartels. So are the police. So if you know any policemen in L.A., they're all corrupt. In fact, the whole country is run by the banksters, gangsters, and cartels, and mafia. We got a corrupt company, uh, companies and, and country. All the banks are run by the banksters, gangsters, and cartels. And of course, I have a lawsuit of fifty million dollars, and that was for Wells Fargo, the contaminated Wells Fargo, the evil Wells Fargo, the evil empire. All banks are evil empires. Get your money out of banks, like Chase, Bank of America, and uh, what else? Um, all the HSBC private bank, the worst. They're worldwide. But Wells Fargo, get your money out of there immediately. I'm taking down all these banks with the help of Jesus Christ the Lord, my Lord and Savior. Remember, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. John 3.16, that's Romans 10.9. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whomsoever shall believe in him shall, not, shall, shall perish. I will not have, wait, whoever shall believe in him shall have eternal life. You'll, they say you'll perish if you don't, but actually everybody's saved. So John 3.16, once again. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whomsoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God is love. Whoever lives in God lives in love. And also, as far as the east is from the west, so far as he removes our transgressions from us, Psalm 103 and uh, <clears throat> the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 23. And put on the Ephesian armor, gird your loins with the truth, put on the breastplate of righteousness, shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
Take up the shield of faith and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Place on your heads the helmet of salvation, placing over you the rainbow of health, happiness, love, and peace from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also, you know, in the Gospel of John, Jesus said, I am the, I am the way and the truth and life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Christian churches have abused that scripture. What that means is in heaven, you don't have to accept Jesus here. We're all saved. We're all born again, filled with the Spirit, walking in newness of life. We're all saved. Uh, the ones who aren't are the devils. They're going to burn in fire. But even gays, lesbians, transgenders, straight, all people are going to be saved. Buddhist, Muslim, um, let me see if other ones, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, Mormons, they're all saved. We're all saved. Hallelujah. We're going to have a party in heaven, a party up in heaven. And if you're married to somebody right now, we're going to be married to Christ. We are going to be married to the, we're going to be the bride of Christ. So it's time to do some eating. I've been fasting, but you'll all enjoy this. This will be on YouTube. This will be on, um, let's see, TikTok. My LinkedIn is kind of malfunctioning right now. We'll put it on Facebook. I'll send it to people in Messenger. We're going to get this all over the world. And um, also Instagram. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait for you all to see this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. Once again, God bless you all. May the Lord bless you and keep you and give you strength.